Finally, <laughs> this is your public declaration of your lifelong commitment to each other. Our laws, mga batas natin, do not provide easy exit. The moment you activated your free will to get married, there's no way out. Our laws also do not dictate upon us if we will marry or not. When we want to form a family, hindi tayo pinamotro ng gobyerno because it is our exercise of our free will to decide for ourselves whether magkaasaw tayo or hindi. Whether magpapamilya tayo or we will concentrate on our career. It's all up to us. Human beings, we are free to decide for ourselves. But such freedom has to have limitations, boundaries. The male and the female creatures are both powerful. They are both smart. Both can achieve anything they desire. Both can be a leader of a nation, of any institution, or even companies. Powerful din ang mga babae. And sometimes the biggest mistake of every husband is not considering that his wife is also powerful and smart. And can also do everything that the man can do. The power of the pictures called male and female has to have limitations or otherwise it will give us disorder. So laws are created to regulate our behavior. Law and order are twins. There cannot be an order without law. When there are laws, order follows. So if there are disorder in our lives, just check the laws. You may have violated because the moment you align yourself to the laws, you will have a stress-free life, peace and prosperity follows. I'm very sure when you decide to form a family, you have this great picture in your mind of a happy family. When they decided to get married, gusto nila mahirap lang sila. Gusto nila nakatira lang sa maliliit na bahay. I have never met such a human being. Every human being desires in his or her heart to have a happy family life. And let's call that picture an idea. Because everything that we see now all started from ideas. The pen that you hold, this table, this chair, and everything. They all started with an idea. Meantime, our government says that the family is the foundation of our nation. We are forming our family. And Article 15 says the family, since it is the foundation of the nation, will create policies that will preserve the Filipino family. For every family, kasalman o hindi. And the purpose of the family, hindi na pwede walang purpose. Hindi na pwede Walang pakinabang yung gobyerno every time na magkikray tayo ng family. The government should benefit from us. Even though we exercise our freedom to decide, the government should benefit from every family that we form. How? The dictionaries define family as the place where people, the members of the society, should be well maintained before they go out to socialize. In other words, bago lumabas ang isang tao from his home, dapat alam na niya kung ano yung tama at mali. Dapat alam na niya na bawal yung ganito, bawal yung ganyan. It looks like, alam natin lahat, we have a deteriorating foundation na in this country. Alam natin yan. Kung gano'ng kalaki, karami, ang disintegrated families, which we call foundation 
of our nation. Thirty-five years since we desire to have changes. Thirty-five years, we still have a very big number of statistics about this integration of families. So this message is not only for the both of you; it's only for all the families here. And after this, you will learn principles that will save your life, that will save your family, and you will live a stress-free life. I promise you. Yes, listen. And that means that we mess up the relationship here, right? Celebrities, even politicians, even some leaders in the government, na may mga doctorates, may mga matatas na pinagarada, they all mess up. Most of them are messing up in their relationship. Bakit kaya? We forgot something. This is a principle. Principle means first law. Principle means first law. Ito dapat yung guiding idea mo whenever you decide on things. Ang relationship is not our creation. Hindi niya nakalimutan natin. Hindi natin invento yung relationship. The moment we decide to unite with another product called human beings, you are activating a particular law on relationship. Hindi natin invento yun, hindi natin control, at hindi natin siya kayang inventohin yung relationship niya. For example, plants are natural products. Human beings are natural products. The proof that we are just a product, we were born naked without anything in our hands. Kahit umaman tayo, we achieve everything in life, when we expire, wala rin tayong hawak. And the Creator made sure of that, that we realize that. That you don't own anything. That we are only managers on this earth. Here, here's my world. Here's my creation. Manage it for me. Yeah, if there are these orders in our lives, nag-aaway kayong mag-asawa, nag-aaway kayong ng mga anak mo, it's only because you forgot that you did not create that relationship. I'll give you one classic example. Yung isang buto ng halaman ay mag-grow sa tamang lupa, sa tamang supply ng araw, sa tamang supply ng tubig, etc. It's a law that the seed needs the tamang soil para siya ay mag-grow. Naturally even without human beings' intervention. Even the fish, you know, they, they live well, they function well, if they are in their natural environment. Human beings, we are also products. We can only grow naturally if we understand this principle. For example, may isang daughter na sustained ng responsible parents Lahat ay provided. Everything. Pagkain, care, love, attention, tuition fee, everything provided. At yung dalaga na yan, yung babae na yan, will grow naturally. Even without the other's intervention. Basta meron responsible parents. Kaya pag lumabas ng bahay yan, na very uh, blooming, o bango, maganda, tapos na pinakita ng another human being na opposite sex, yayayain mag-asawa, yayayain paksal, alam ng lalaki kung anong kailangan ng babae. Mahal kita, I will do this to you. Promise. Alam ng babae yun. Ang problema, hindi alam ng babae kung anong kailangan yun lang ng lalaki. Alam lang ng lalaki na love yung kailangan ng babae. So I'm giving you the love. Pero sa babae, tanongin mo ano ang need ng lalaki niya na kumakausap sa iyo. Because yun yung top one need na pangailangan nila according to the creator of the human being. Kaya nga, tinusong mga babae, you love me like 
tell me, please be careful with my heart. Diba? You can take it, just don't break it, or my world will fall apart. Yan ang tingsong nyo. Diba? Masakit sa inyo, kahit simpleng salita lang, yung sinasabi ng lalaki. Kahit na sabihan kayo, maalat yung luto mo. Masakit sa inyo, masakit sa inyo, di ba? Hindi ka na magluluto ulit. Simple words, pero masakit sa babae. And so the creator put limits to the husband para hindi siya masaktan. Do not be hard to her. And science has discovered na emotional pala ang pagkakagawa sa babae. And that activates the moment you enter into a relationship. Now, I'm going back to the situation kanina na yung babae nag-grow naturally from her responsible parents, may nakilala ko po si sex, pinakasalan siya. She is growing in her natural environment, enjoying everything in life. Kaya yung husband na nagaya sa kanyang mag-asawa, dahil lalaki lang naman ang inutusan ng creator to go out of the house at mapipisa sa kanyang wife. Lalaki lang. Kaya if you fail to give the same environment that she was enjoying, the female will malfunction. Ano ba yung mga binibigay dapat sa sa bawat isa? Kasi psychology, Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs, sabi, the human beings hierarchy of needs. Ito yung mga dapat natatanggap ng tao para mag-function normally. Pag hindi niya natatanggap yan, the human being will malfunction. Kaya, gusto mo mag-function ng asawa mo? Check mo yung checklist. Am I giving this to her? Am I giving this to him? Now, what is the greatest need of the male? When the male activated the relationship, it is called respect. Hindi nila kailangan ng love. Hindi namin kailangan ng love. What we need is respect. At napakalawak yan. We can discuss it the whole day. Ano yung coverage na respect na yan? And the man, your husband, will function normally kung natatanggap niya lagi yun from every wife. Now, think of a construction project. Meron billboard, on this side will rise a 20-story building, everything. Na may ganitong facilities, functionalities, etc. The building is already finished in their minds. Nandito na, nag-growing na. So, para mag- maging realidad, yung picture na yun, the owner must get qualified engineers, qualified plumbers, mechanics, etc. Your dream of a happy family is a project. And that should go a process. Because that building went into the same process carefully. And again, realistic and drawing. So consider your marriage as a project that you have to go through the right process to achieve that great family picture in your mind. So, there will be no marriage if there was no male and female who joined themselves. Kasi, sabi nung ating behavioral scientists, lahat daw ng problema, social ills, emanated from the family. Kaya pag bumalik tayo from a nation to the community, aatras lang tayo to check the problem. Eh. Yun din nasabi ng mga behavioral scientists. Check the family and you will see the problem. From, from family to the female and the male. Yun ang yung sequence eh. Kung parang nabuo yung family. Kaya if there are problems in the society, sabi, ng behavioral scientist, balik lang tayo pa atras. Pag napapalfaction yung nation, actually, dahil natin batas na ginawa, I think, five digits na yung ating Republic Acts. 
So if there are laws created by the government, ibig sabihin, there are many law violators. And take note that most of our laws pertaining to relationship are favorable to the woman. So in other words, may problema tayo sa mga kalalakihan. <laughs> so, nakalimutan natin na kapag natural laws ang involved, natural, ah, kung natural products ang involved, natural laws ang applicable. And natural laws, when you violate that, they're built-in punishment. Kahit hindi pa kayo makaabot sa korte. Ang korte natin, puno-puno ng kaso ng relationships. Relationships sa asawa, relationships sa na, relationships sa kapatid, relationships sa business, and everything. Yan po ay nagpupuno ng ating korte. So, para mag-function well yung relationship na dinisisinan yung dalawa, it has to have boundaries. What powerful? Yung authority natin may limit. Because a power without authority is called chaos. Kulo. Ano yung authority lang ng wife? Hindi po sakop ng authority ng wife na sermonan yung husband. Tingnan nyo kung matutuwa sila. Pag sinermonan nyo sila. Hindi po. Hindi rin po sakop ng authority ng husband na bantayan 24-7 ang wife. Nilalagyan ito ng love. Nilalagyan ng pagmamahal, ng pag-intindi. Kapag umu-over ka doon, magiging dominante ka, magiging tawag sa'yo, diktador. So that power has to have authority. So if you put yourself, align yourself to the boundaries, I don't think may mag-aaway na mag-asawa. At dahil natabunan na tayo ng society na normal na daw sa mag-asawa nag-aaway, tinanggap na natin. Bumayag tayo na normal sa mag-asawa nag-aaway. Ano ba ang epekto sa atin pagkaaway natin, asawa natin? Nakakakain ba kayo ng maayos? Nakakatulog ba kayo kung dati kayo nag-aayos? Hindi eh. Nakakapagtrabaho ba kayo ng maayos? Pagkaaway niyo ang asawa niyo? Hindi naman. Normal ba yun? At lahat daw ng sakit ay nagsimula sa stress. Kung may mga doctors dito, I'm sure you will agree with me. Even sa Newsweek, stress will really make you sick. Kaya pag tinitest ang inyong relationship, despite following the boundaries, the limitations that you have, it's a test to your relationship. It's all a test. So, you want to have that great family picture that you see in your mind? It's a flight check. Qualify yourselves as the own architects of your marriage. At yan po yung malaki may tutulong natin sa gobyerno. Reduce functional adults. And you will live happily ever after. Congratulations. And so,